everybody born under the sign Scorpio, the most powerful sign in the entire zodiac. This is Maxine Taylor, and I have your November forecast right here. And it's really wonderful. Let me tell you what's going on. Let's start with Mars. Mars is one of your co-rulers. You know, Mars and Pluto rule Scorpio. Um, Mars, the planet of action, energy, war, passion. What you throw yourself into, what comes first to you is in your sixth house where it has been, um, but it's been retrograde. So everything's flatlined all over the world. It's two steps forward and two steps back. On the 13th, it goes direct. And you will see it, you will feel it. Um, you, you'll, you'll just sniff it in the air. You will know when Mars goes direct. Now, we're going to be in the shadow of the retrograde Mars till the first week of January, 2021. Um, <clears throat> and for more information, on the shadow of, of the retrograde, any retrograde planet. On my YouTube channel last year, I did a video called Mercury Retrograde, the prequel and the sequel. Check it out, it'll give you a lot more information. Okay, however, I have observed and experienced that when Mars goes direct, we feel it and we're able to move forward. In this case, it'll be with your health, it'll be with your job. Wonderful, wonderful. Now let's go over to this area, shall we? First of all, let's look at Venus, the planet of love. It has been in your 12th house and the 12th house is the subconscious and it's behind the scenes activities as well. So your love life has been nobody's business but yours, which is the way you like it. You're a very private sign. And you are, the 12th house is kind of a preparatory space because on the 21st, Venus enters your first house, which is the most personal point in the chart. And you fall in love with you. I think this is terrific because when you love you, everybody else does too. They know you got something going on and they want it. They want to know what it is. Well, this is the time that you can love you. And I think it's terrific. On the 21st, okay. Mercury, communication, correspondence and transportation has also been in the behind the scenes 12th house. So when you have planets in the 12th house, you want to be alone. You really don't want to hang out with other people. And as a, your, your personal nature, Scorpio, is to hold back, uh, to test the waters, to keep your secrets yours, to keep other people's secrets uh, with which you have been entrusted yours, okay? So... Mercury in the 12th, lots going on subconsciously. Um, Mercury goes direct, because it's been retrograde, on November 3rd, election day. And the energy shifts, the energy changes, <clears throat> excuse me, because we're moving forward. Now, when Mercury's retrograde, everything is confused. And that's been of concern to me with this election coming up because I was concerned about ballots being lost or destroyed or whatever. And so on the third, the energy shifts and Mercury starts moving forward, hot dog. On the 10th, it moves into your first house and you are thinking about yourself and talking about yourself. Cool, I love that. Um, so you'll have Mercury in your first house before Venus moves into your first house. And you're thinking about yourself, you're talking about yourself. And 
My sense is that since Mercury is going to be in the shadow of the retrograde until the 19th, that is, I'm shooting for that time period, the 19th, for all the ballots to be counted. And we'll know the um, outcome of all of the races. We'll have to see. Of course, the presidential race is the, the most obvious one, the biggest. Um, but there are smaller races that are still very important. Okay, the sun, the yellow planet, the giver of life. It's been in your first house. And you've been able to say, I'm doing it my way. I'm doing what I want, when I want, how I want, because I want. And remember, when the sun is in your first house, that's exactly what you're supposed to do. Okay? Now, on the 21st, the same day that Venus moves into your first house and you fall in love with you and you look more beautiful. And yes, you can beautify yourself at that point in time. Mm -hmm. Do it. Change your wardrobe, change your hairstyle, whatever. Because it's, it's beauty. Okay. The sun is going to move into your second house. And that is when you will be able to create more money. That's all I gotta say. That's terrific. And you'll create more uh, tangible assets, things you can hold in your hand. Okay. We have a new moon at mid month. It, it falls between the 14th and 15th, depending on where you are on this planet. Okay. On the new moon, things, energy starts growing. Well, it's in your first house. You come alive. All right, Mercury will be in your first house. Venus is getting ready to go into your first house. The sun will be in your first house at that time. Now, the uh, new moon is in 23 degrees Scorpio. Find that in your birth chart because that's the area where energy starts flowing. Our, our full moon is a lunar eclipse on the 30th of the month in eight and a half degrees of Gemini. Find that in your birth chart too. In your solar chart, it is in your eighth house, which is your natural house of secrets, transformation, transmutation. It gives you the opportunity to dig beneath the surface as a psychic detective, help other people create uh, financial wherewithal, it helps you transform you. And remember that we uh, experience the eclipse till the next group come along, which will be in the spring of 2021. Because it is uh, an eclipse, it is stronger than your average full moon. And I just think that is awesome because if any sign can handle the power of an eclipse in their eighth house, it's you, Scorpio. Yep, it's you. So that's the way November looks for you. Join me next month when once again, I take another look at your solo chart. If you would like me to read your own chart, go to my website, MaxineTaylor.com, where you'll find all the information you need. So till we meet again, may the stars shine brightly on you and yours. Bye for now.